Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So we are back with one of our most popular segments on this channel. It is our Ipsy versus Ipsy for the month of May. It is our regular glam bags. If you haven't seen, we've already done the unboxing for the May Glam Bag Plus. Unfortunately, just a little quick backstory, mine was delivered to the wrong person or was lost in the mail. It says delivered when I check it. However, it was not on my doorstep. Um, the idea behind our Ipsy versus Ipsy is I take my mother's and my own and I compare the two. Uh, my mom's came a couple days afterwards. So we went ahead and filmed it minus my box and I just showed what I was going to get in that box. If you haven't seen that video, I'm sure Nikki can give a little hyperlink somewhere and hook you guys up so you can go watch that one and get some context for it. But if you don't wanna watch that, you just wanna see this one really quickly, I will give you guys an update on what's going on with that. So today is Wednesday. It was supposed to be delivered last Wednesday. They told me to wait five business days. Today would be the fifth business day. So I went ahead and I contacted their customer service one more time and I was just like, hey, it's been five days. I waited for it, was hoping for the best, nothing came. So is there any way we can go ahead and move along with what would need to be done to either give me a refund or replace it, whatever you guys can do. They basically said, you know, yeah, we're getting confirmation that it said it was uh, delivered on the 6th. You know, if just send us your, your shipping information again so we can make sure we send it to the right house and we'll hopefully get you a replacement soon. So hopefully I will be getting a replacement. I'm hoping it's gonna be the same products. If not, then I'm just hoping for a refund at this point. I, it's sad because the box looked like it was going to be the best box I've received all of 2020. But we'll see what happens. I do appreciate that they have uh, been very communicative and uh, very timely in their responses to my issues and to the fact that the box is lost because obviously something like that where I'm saying it's not delivered, that's not something that I can confirm or they can confirm. Um, I can send them a picture of a broken product or something like that, but I, can't, I can just send them a picture of the air, but like I could be lying about it and they've been very open and, and honest about it. Of course, I have also been an Ipsy subscriber for like three years and never reported a box missing before. So I'm sure that works in my favor. But anyway, so that's what's going on with that. Hopefully I will get a replacement box and I will film just a really quick like, hey, this is an unboxing of this and this is how it all ended up. But let's move on to the actual topic of today's video, which is the regular glam bags. Both of them arrived today. Uh, this one right here is my mother's. This one is mine. A little bit more detail about what we do. Basically, I take her bag and I unbox it. I take my bag and I unbox it. I look at the bags as a whole. I pick out which one I like the best. And then I take the five products that I like the best from both bags and I make my ideal bag. And that way I figure out who's the winner, who got the better bag this month, my mom or myself. Let's jump into it. I will uh, say the Ipsy Pluses this year have been incredibly disappointing for me. I have been very vocal about that. The regular bags have been very satisfactory to me though. They're normal $12 bags I've been very happy with. So I don't check spoilers. I did check it with my missing, uh, my missing box just so I could see and talk about what products I should have gotten, but I have not checked this one. So let's dive right into it. I always start with my mom's. This is hers and we gonna dive in. So the little bag is cute. I like the, uh, the two-toned fading into ombre look of the summery colors. I liked the plus bag better. I will say they're about the same size. Normally the plus is a little bit bigger, but these look like they're roughly the same size, but the plus was a blue and yellow scheme. And I think they played a little bit better together, but still really, really cute. The first thing that she got is a nice tapered fair eyeshadow brush. She's very unhappy with brushes normally because she feels like she gets them frequently, which is a big complaint I have is that they send us very similar things in a lot of boxes. I personally love getting eyeshadow brushes from them. I love, especially these little tapered ones. They make great blending brushes. I feel like I can never have too many of them because uh, I don't like to wash my brushes. And uh, the more I have, the less often I can wash them. That's a horrible philosophy to have as somebody who's enthusiastic about makeup, but that is the philosophy that I carry with me. So. Here we are. I think she'll probably like this one because I have used Vera before and I, I like them a lot, but we'll see. I'm not sure how she'd feel about that, but I know that would be something I'd be happy getting. Her little bit, her little uh, thing in her bag says that the theme is get that glow, which I like. I like that theme, that's a cute theme. I'm gonna pull out all the products and then we'll talk about them. Okay, this is cool. I personally love when they take risks with products because I feel like that's the way that we keep from getting stagnant, repetitive, duplicated products month after month. And this is a Wander Beauty Nude Illusions Liquid Foundation. I think it is a huge risk to send foundations in a bag because yes, we take these quizzes to kind of help them 
get a guideline of to like what our skin tone is and what we prefer and stuff like that. But it is incredibly hard to, uh, to <laughs> match skin tones, which are so varied in a subscription box. So this I think is a huge risk, but I think it looks like it would probably be good for her shade. It's, it's fair light. Normally when I'm buying shades, I go with fair light. Um, in fact, the shade that I'm wearing right now, um, it's one of my cheaper foundations because obviously we're in quarantine, so I'm not going anywhere. It's a little bit darker than what I like to use normally, but this would be probably the color that I would pick up. And I think it would work on me. We're pretty similar in skin tone right now. She's been tanning a lot. So right now, like outside tanning. So right now she's a little darker than I am. So maybe a little light for her, but that is a really cool addition. It is very small sample. I think you probably could get like maybe four to five if you really push it full use applications out of it, depending on how much foundation you normally wear. But still, I really love that they take that kind of a chance. So I, that's that would be something I'd be excited about getting. The next thing that we have is the Gold Faden MD Solution Wake Up Call Overnight Regenerative Facial Treatment. It is for problem dry and aging skin. Um, I think she actually, she always checks her spoilers. She does kind of give me some insight as to what she's feeling like her bag is. She was not thrilled with her little bag this month. I, looking at it all together, I kind of understand why, but she, I feel like this is actually something that's gonna be good for her. As an older woman, she does really love her skincare. She's very serious about it. She has some things that she does that she spends like a serious amount of time on to make her skin look younger. And it really works in my opinion. She looks very great for her age. I think actually this would be a nice one. I mean, the idea obviously is you put it on before you go to bed and you sleep in it and it's supposed to help keep your, your skin moisturized and youthful looking. And I think if she tries it, she's gonna wind up liking it. I think I would probably use it. I'm very bad about washing my face before I go to bed mainly because I work in the middle of the night. So I like just go to sleep and then I get up at like midnight and go to work and then I come back and I take a shower then and then I nap for like an hour. So I don't really have like a set bedtime. It sounds awful, but I, I just don't. So that's something that like for me, the whole sleep masks don't work as well for somebody who would have a normal sleep schedule. But I think if she gives it a shot, she'll probably really like it. The next thing that she has is the Fab Pharma Arnica Relief Rescue Mask from First Aid Beauty. I love First Aid Beauty. This is where her complaints gonna come in. And I completely understand because I totally agree with it. She's gotten two skincare products in her bag, a brush, and then her, I'll finally, I'll, I'll spoil her last. Her last is the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. One of my favorite mascaras. I love having sample sizes of it to bring with me on trips. So actually, as much as I complain about getting mascaras constantly, this is one that I would be thrilled with because this is one of my favorite mascaras, just plain and simple. So her complaint, I can tell you, her complaint with her bag, why she said she really wasn't that happy with it is because she's getting a mascara, which is something that we get very often. She's getting a brush, which she feels like she gets a lot of, and she's getting two skincare products, which she doesn't really care about. I understand that. I understand the complaint completely. Um, it's not the best bag, but I still think that the products she got are good diversified products, if that makes sense. Weird, weird as it is sounds, but they're all diversified in different ways. So I actually don't hate her bag, but I'm hoping my bag is better. All right, so we've done her bag. Now let's go into my bag. First thing I pulled out, I also got the Farrah brush. I'm excited about it. I explained why I'm excited about it. I, just to go a little bit deeper into it, personally, I was one of those people who, being raised by my mom, she had certain brushes that she always used. Bare Minerals was one of them. Um, she liked Laura Geller's. She loves It Cosmetics brushes. So she would tell me only buy those, only buy those, get those in kits and stuff like that. And I have a ton. So I never really looked at more indie brands and things like that until I started getting the Ipsy's, the Boxy Charms, the subscription services. I have found just an absolute ton of brands and brushes that I love from those that I would have never tried on my own. Like Luxie is one of my favorite brands now for brushes. So I'm excited to test this one out. Um, I'm actually very glad that I received it in my bag as well. Opening up the bag, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, well, one man down, one's on the ground. All right, so this, oh, oh my God. Okay, this is honest. Do you guys see, do you see it? Can you see it? Do you need a magnifying glass? Cause it's so freaking tiny. That is um, the Tarte C Jelly Glaze Anytime Lip Mask. It's about the teeniest, tiniest little sample that you could possibly uh, give to a person. I love Tarte a lot. I love Tarte. I love their C collection. I like their Amazonian collection. I really am just a huge fan of them and their products. It. I wish it were just a tiny bit bigger because that is a very tiny, I feel like this is a month of just very small samples. It does happen. It's, it is it is what it is. I know we're only paying $12 for the bag, but that's very, very tiny. It's not something that I really would care to buy on my own or even try on my own. I don't 
really care that much about like lip masks and stuff like that. So I kind of feel like that's a throwaway product in my opinion, but let's see what else we got before I make a decision. Okay, so this, I believe, I'm trying to remember what I chose for my add-ons, but I chose it a while ago. So this, I believe is what I chose. It's the Yensa Color and Face Skin on Skin BC Concealer. And once again, I come back to anything product-wise that they are doing that is a very specific like skin tone matching thing, I think it's a huge risk and I, I love it. So if I'm given the option to choose a uh, concealer, a um, foundation, something like that, I normally do, which is why I chose a, a BC concealer. It is a full coverage concealer, which a lot of times with the CC creams and the BC creams, they're not necessarily full co coverage. So I'm excited to try it. I've used Yensa, I believe, because I've gotten samples from them, but I've never bought it on my own. So I'm definitely excited to see how this one winds up uh, working out for me. But I'm, I'm, I like that one a lot. I got the same First Aid Arnica Relief Rescue Mask. It is meant to soothe and distress. Yeah, it's just a regular old mask that is meant to soothe and distress. Uh, once again, I love First Aid Beauty. I am sick of getting masks though. So I feel like that, I understand why my mom felt the way she did about her bag. It's not the best bag, but it's not the worst bag. You know, like I've seen way worse. Okay, the next thing I got, I'm actually very excited about. I got a Pixie by Petra really nice size blush. Every time they give us one of these pixie ones, I feel like it's almost full size. And it's in the shade Beach Rose. Yeah, Beach Rose. And it's very, it's a very nice neutral little shade. I'm gonna open it up just so you guys can actually see it without all the lid and everything on it. But they just have like such a nice wide pan and it really is just a really pretty color. Very neutral, almost could be like a really light, like bronzing shade but I, I like that a lot. So I think if I had to choose one bag all assembled together, I really like her foundation, but I like her roller lash mascara too. Honestly, I probably would choose my bag as a whole, but if I had to pick the five top products that I would get, I would go with the brush, so we both got that. I would go with my blush, my concealer, her foundation and her mascara. So technically it's dead even. I would throw away all of the skincare type stuff basically, just because that's not really what I care about. It's not what's in my preferences. It's not what's in her preferences. We continue to get them and I understand once again, that's one of those like additional products. I do feel like this is one of the weakest bags of 2020 for the, the smaller bags. I feel like their smaller bags have been absolutely bomb the whole year. This has been the one that if I hadn't gotten it, I would have been like, whatever. Very sad that I received this one and I did not receive my big one. Hopefully I will receive my big one because that one was actually fire and um, kind of a meh month for the regular bag in, in Ipsy, in my opinion. I still think that the Ipsy little bag is the best investment you can do right now. Their plus has a lot of redeeming to do before I say that it's worthwhile because it is $25 and it is very expensive when you think about a monthly charge. I mean, you think about $25 in a 12 year period, I mean, 12 month period, you're spending $250 on bags on boxes. $12 is a little bit more reasonable, $150, $144, uh, a little bit more justifiable, but still a lot of money. So definitely something to think about. But I, I, I do really like the idea of just having the little Ipsy bags no matter what. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, it's a lot, I'm sorry. I, I know I was like throwing stuff out the plus and I'm throwing this stuff and all everything at you guys, but I just wanna make sure that you guys really understand like how I feel fully about the brand, about what they're doing fully as a company, and then also the what we're getting in this particular month. So if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. It really helps our channel a lot. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing that. We would love for you to be part of the Dark Angel family. Uh, we're always looking for new amazing members to our little YouTube community here. And uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and you just have a really wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.